Hey guys, today we're doing the uh, fake serial killer again and we're looking at Dennis Raider, BTK. Uh, Dennis Lynn Raider, 77. Okay, I've shown you this before. There's the Baffer mate, 77. And the Freemasonic Brigade on his head. It's all connected. Uh, American serial killer known as BTK. That stood for Bind, Torture, Kill, apparently. BTK 33. 20th letter, 11th letter, and the second letter, 33. Alright then. Uh, let's a quick look. He's born March the 9th, apparently. Uh, his dad was William Elvin Raider. And of course, William Raider is 33. Uh, one of four sons, um, born in Pittsburgh, Kansas. And Pittsburgh, of course, 33. You know, apparently, we're told from a young age, he felt trapped and helpless. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Harvard Sissy Fence is about trapping women and making them feel helpless. Um, he acted out sexual fantasies for voyeurism, asphyxiation, cross-dressing, would often spy on female neighbours while dressing in women's clothing. Um, basically a load of nonsense. That's, that's what they're trying to tell us. And he also had two children, Brian and Kerry. Just so you know, 33. All coded as usual. And he was part of the uh, Christ Lutheran Church, CLC, there's three threes. And on the 26th of July, after Raider's arrest, his wife was granted an emergency divorce. So you got the 26th day of the seventh month, 26th and 7th. Right. Now, apparently, on the fifteenth of January, he killed four members of one family. And of course, January fifteen was thirty-three. No surprise there. And Joe Atiro, thirty-three. There was a Joseph and two children, Joseph and Josephine. Three Joe Atiros. And his wife, Julie, was 33. Uh, the bodies were discovered, apparently, by Charlie, the Tiro, who is 66. All coded as usual. And apparently, Raider wrote a letter that had been stashed inside an engineering book in the uh, local library in October 1974 describing the details of the alleged incident. Of course, I'm sure you already know, following. October's 33. And it also seemed he wrote quite a few letters, and in the one letter he claimed to be driven to kill by Factor X, which he characterised as a supernatural element, and also motivated these other fake killers as well. And you won't be surprised to find out. Uh, Factor X is 33 as well. Okay, moving on. We'll get to the other alleged victims shortly. And the case had gone cold by 2004. They thought his last alleged victim was in 1991. But in March, um, the local paper starts getting correspondence from a, a bill. Thomas Kilman, which is of course 66, Dark Side of the Cabela. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, other victims. Okay, this is the first family that we did. So we've got six more victims to have a look at. Catherine Doreen Bright was killed on April the 4th, allegedly of course. First of all, you've got your fourth month, and 
your fourth day is your 44, but once again, it's 33. Okay, and Shirley Ralford was allegedly killed on March the 17th. 33, no surprise there. Okay, and Nancy Fox, Fox is 666. Just show that for you in case you didn't know. 666 on December the 8th. Okay, so you've got the 12th month, the 8th day, 12, 8 to 96. And if you go to the Gematria calculator, you put your Freemason, totals 96. All coded as usual. So moving on to Marine Hedge. Alleged date of death, April the 27th. And no surprise, April 27th is also 33. Okay, Vicky Wiggly. And you pop her in. 66 with 33 for the vowels and consonants. September 16 is 47 as well. There's, there's lots of others in here, but I'm just showing you the uh, basic ones that people might be able to understand. And Dolores Davis, 62, apparently when she died. And you pop in Mrs. Davis, 33. And January 19, 37 for your three sevens. Triple mine weapon number. Now moving back to his arrest and his court case, we'll just have a quick look at the numbers involved with them. Okay. Now apparently, about what's this 13 years after he stopped killing, allegedly. Uh, on the 9th of June, 96, a package was found taped to a stop sign at the corner of First and Kansas. I mean that's just random place to leave something. And apparently had graphic descriptions of the murders and a sketch that was labelled the sexual thrill is my bill. Okay. And apparently after he was captured he was planning to kill again in October. And um, we already know that that's 33 from earlier on. There you go. Right, so let's have a look at his actual arrest. Okay, so Radar was arrested while driving near his home shortly after noon on February the 25th in 2005, which is 347, mine weapon number. And on February 28th, 2005, he was charged with 10 counts of first degree murder. And of course that's 44, which according to Alistair Crowley is the corruption of the created world number. Um, on June the 27th, his trial was scheduled, so that's 9. 6 again, 96, and um, he was sentenced on August the 18th, 2005. No prizes for guessing, 33. And on August 19th, he was moved to the El Dorado Correctional Facility. August 19, 33. As is El Dorado. All coded. Okay. So there was an evaluation done by Robert Mendoza, a psychologist. Obviously, Robert's 33. Activate. And so is Mendoza, giving you 66. So there you go. Just a brief overview of BTK, Dennis Rader. And. What I'll do now, I'll just leave you with a little bit of Bill Cooper, just to confirm how these people use the numbers. Thanks for watching.
We have to be very careful about how we interpret what we read, especially the Bible. And I'll tell you why. When I research these secret societies and I research the Bible, and by the way, I'm a Christian, so if you're a Christian, don't think I'm knocking your religion. I'm not. I'm just telling you what I found. I have found that at the very heart and core of all these secret societies lurks the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is the ancient Jewish mysticism. It is a method of encoding information through a system of mathematics and numbers. It is some of the most ancient knowledge that man has ever possessed and has been kept secret and given only to those who have proven themselves worthy through the process of initiation. Nobody knows where it comes from. I can tell you this. It was there long before the Jews came along. The Jews just took it and preserved it, and they passed it down, and it's used by everybody. Because it's at the heart and core of the secret knowledge, the metaphysics, the real science that none of us know anything about. These people that belong to the secret societies never dared to write down in any language what they knew, what it was that they were guarding, because then someone could steal it and then the secret would be out. So they devised secret systems of encoding the secrets of the ages, the knowledge, the hidden knowledge, the occult. Now, occult doesn't mean evil. It doesn't mean the devil. It doesn't mean Satan. Occult means hidden. It means hidden. That's all it means. So they took this knowledge and they made it occult through a system of encoding encryption, one of which is mathematics, numbers. Another is architecture. Everybody wonder why do they have a fraternal organization called the Freemasons? Aren't those the guys that build walls? You bet they do. But every wall they build contains the secrets that have been kept and maintained throughout the ages and it's encoded in the architecture and in the measurements of the buildings and in the mathematical form or formulas used to derive the geometry, the shape, the length and breadth and height of rooms. It's all encoded there.